Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Hey guys, it is the Raw Wrap-Up. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, and it is time to talk Monday Night Raw as in tra- is tradition, as is tradition, which I think is a whole other event here in Pittsburgh, but with me on the line from Poughkeepsie, New York, he's the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE, he is mad, Mike? Oh man, Sorg, I'm ready to talk some women's wrestling. Oh yeah! There's so many women. This show is women, women, women. Shield, shield, women, women. It's shield, almost shield, like shield. we're shielding ourselves with women. Ah, yes. Not the worst women's reference I've heard. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, Mike, do you want to talk about the shieldy shield, or do you want to talk about the women women? Oh, I'd rather not talk about the shield anything. Women! <laughs> oh, uh, but... um. I'd like to say two more Americans qualify for the World Cup. So there you go, there you go. So the Worldly Cup of Americans. Although now I don't know, is is Kurt Angle like you know representing two countries now? No, no, no he's he's still representing America. Wait, wait, and, wait, 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 wait not may- play along, Mike. And maybe representing the Joker. The Joker. He looked like the Joker in The Killing Joke. Oh, he did. Oh, he did. Wow, that's yeah, a deep cut. That's not, yeah, I know. I know. That's a lot of people cut. were saying Waylon Murphy online. I'm like, uh, no, you give that guy a camera, and I feel bad for anyone who's cosplaying his Batgirl. Dude, that's – oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, that, exactly. That, yeah, um, no. Who would be your Batgirl in WWE Raw? Oh, no, you don't want me to say that. I mean, not, like, because she's going to get victimized in a horrible, horrible way, but, like, who, who, oh, oh, who would be... Oh, like, in general? Yeah, yeah, no, like, no, not as, oh, who okay, do you want to okay, be victimized okay. by the Joker uh, in a horrible, horrible way? No, as in, oh, okay. who would um, make a good Batgirl in, um, okay, any other sequence but this? Sasha Banks. I'm in the same zone. <laughs> Sasha Banks. Completely in the Sasha same zone. Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks of Burnside. Just give me a graphic novel all about that. Yes. With Sasha having a whole bunch of gadgets. Yeah. And you know what? Let's do Birds of Prey, Sasha, Bailey, and Ember Moon. Mm -hmm. I'm here for it. We are guaranteed at least one international star with uh, Shinsuke versus Ray. Yes, Ray from San Diego, California, and the United States champion, (laughs) Shinsuke Nakamura. (laughs) Either way, someone is representing America. (laughs) Darn, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, booyaka, booyaka, motherfuckers. I mean, it's almost Mexico. <laughs> and 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 if you think Shinsuke has any chance to win that match, Mm-mm. I have a bridge to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, back around. It's like this bridge I just made with Legos. Like that's a, the bridge. We have a lot going on here. We got a lot of people in the chat room from all over Mayhem Nation. Our friend Brandon from uh, the KC, Tina from up in the Northwest. And, of course, uh, Dave Partner of Tiny Show right here in the greater Pittsburgh area. But, anyways, let's get <laughs> – what do you want to talk about? They say there's a lot of women's wrestling content here tonight. Um, uh, what can if- we uh, – all right, I think I think we should talk about the pipe bomblet. Okay, okay. So I caught the end of the pipe bomb. Uh, we had um, – so people in professional wrestling seem to ta- stop by the studio while I'm watching Raw. This seems to be a trend lately. Don't uh, they know you're watching Raw? You think if anybody would know, it would be them, right, Mike? More to the point, why aren't they watching Raw? Well, I'm, okay. <laughs> because, because never mind. Pro- I, never mind. Well, well, I understand why they're not watching Raw. I was gonna say, how many times do we have somebody on that's a pro wrestler and it says, mm, "I don't watch Raw." Yeah, really just I don't have time yeah. for that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that. This is a very, very regular occurrence here, Mike. So, yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, uh, Dave, they have not announced the other uh, qualifying match for tomorrow yet. They're still working. They, on it. 
still. Yeah, my out. my bet is it will be. Oh, oh, sword one before before we get into raw. Let's guess what the other qualifying match is. Dude, I I don't even know right now. Nothing makes sense to me. I want to I want to guess. I'm gonna say the Miz versus Ty Dillinger. It, didn't Ty like kind of get injured with the fingers and everything? Samoa Joe had half a leg last week. Okay, there's that. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't watch SmackDown. I'm sorry. I, yeah, I, no, I, I Samoa mean Joe, to, but... Samoa Joe, like, that match literally had to be called because Samoa Joe could not stand. Jeez. Paige is doing a bang-up job. She's not keeping track for wrestlers at all. No, 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 no. she's not. Uh, Yeah, but that that's my guess. Uh, Miz versus Ty Dillinger. Oh, Tina says Rusev versus Aiden. Mm. Ooh. I like it. I like it. I'm trying to think if there's any other like like old oldies that would come back. Is Big Show on this yet? Uh Big Show already lost to Randy Orton. Oh no way. Oh yeah. Yes oh, way. Oh man. Yeah. I thought he'd be the surrogate for Andre. <laughs> oh no. Oh, such no. a that sadly no. Oh such a just uh just yeah. Okay, anyways. Raw, Sorg, let's Raw. Talk about Raw. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> Raw. You know what? Uh. I can I tell you how much I am starting to adore, and I've always been a fan individually of most of the girls involved in it, but as a whole and as a perception and as a group, I am starting to adore the the punk rock anti establishment antics of the Riot Scott. Squad. The no matter- Riot Squad are my favorite things on Raw. Aren't they? Like, and it doesn't hurt that each one of them individually is adorable. Mm-hmm. Like, is fucking adorable. And that's not even a joke. They like, are. I, I, I watched Liv Riot, uh, uh, Liv Morgan's um, Up Up Down Down thing this afternoon during lunch. She is a delight. <laughs> She is just a damn delight. That's awesome. And I love it. their personalities are coming out now, right? And and you know, becoming a unit and, and I think it's it's really working for these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um I I, I wish we had some ladies trios championships for them to go for. hmm hmm I, I, I really wish. That'd be great. Um but yeah, no, I love the Riot Squad. They're fun. They're super, super fun. I, I wish nothing but the best for them. Awesome. I mean, I kind of hope they win the Battle Royal at Evolution. Mm-hmm. Just all three of them collectively as a unit. No, absolutely. Absolutely. It'll probably come down to, like, the three of them and, like, Naya. Oh, no, it won't. No? No. No, I no. A legend is winning that match. A legend is probably winning that match, mm-hmm. sadly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so from that, uh, we did have Sasha Banks come back tonight, teaming up with Natalia. Um, <laughs> Thankfully, I was worried about Sasha. Yes, what well, she'd been kind of randomly out. Is it? So I haven't been keeping up on Mixed Match Challenge, but it seems like replacements have been happening all across the board. Um, entirely. it's been mixed up match challenge. Yeah, I just like you can't even follow part. a team. Like we made this longer, and now like. Like like Owens got replaced by Bobby Roode in one match. In one match, yep. uh, it just I, I can't keep up. Yeah, Alexa got replaced by uh, Ember Moon. Uh, Sasha got replaced by Mickey James. Like there's there's just replacements all across the board. Mm-hmm. It's which is I mean it doesn't really matter at this point because it's not for anything. No no no. Well, it's this, not even that's for why, charity. I mean it's kind of like weird. I'm not I'm not in a rush to catch up with my 205s and my NXTs, and I, I was trying to catch up with a little bit of 205 last week. Um, because it's so separated from everything else that I can like kind of watch it in a box, you know, um, yeah. you know, kind of like when, ah, oh, man, I should really catch up on the flash. Let's watch like five episodes. Like that's where I'm at with it. Like it, it's, mm-hmm. it's more serialized TV than event TV. Like, like, you know, Ron Smackdown kind of pretend to be right. And even Smackdown to a point, you know, other than like the fact that there's more pay-per-views that it, it, it affects, I have no rush to catch up on Smackdown. You um, should though. SmackDown. I know. Great. I want to, but I'm just saying timeliness because we were talking about yeah. the schedules and I'm just having a issue with my schedule lately. We're trying to catch up with all this wrestling. Also, and I know this is a Raw show. Um, we have four hours of re- new wrestling every week on Wednesdays, Mike. 
Oh, I'm well aware. But it's only <laughs> it's only four hours for a couple more weeks. Yeah, oh, of, course, it, of course. Then, then, it, then, then it goes back, back to three down. and everything. Either way, yeah, then, I've then it watched, goes back down to three. I've watched one episode of the Mayon Classic. <laughs> Man, so. classic has been very good. Yeah, oh no, and I'm not discounting yeah. anything. I know it's like the best stuff I should be watching right now on the network, and yeah. and and if you just follow those things, uh, yeah, NXT 2K, uh, 2K, yeah, NXT, NXT 2K, you're yeah, right, yeah, 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 NXT UK <laughs> yeah. Uh, coming up here this Wednesday and starting as far as the four hours thing. But anyways, back to so, Raw. Let's talk about Raw and the women's. Yeah. The women, um, the way I love, I can assure you. Let's talk the, about the ladies. The women's, uh, as in, I'm shorting the women's division. <laughs> yes, the women's division shortened to the women's. Mm-hmm. Um, Ronda Rousey. All right. That, so, again, I caught the end of it. I caught the stinger on that pipe bomb. Um, what, what part did you come in at? Because, uh, like, what, what was the first thing you heard? Um, mostly the first thing I heard was, uh, after I was done with my conversation with a Latin assassin was, um, Mm -hmm. um, um, you, what was it? You, you really broke down doors, but, but mostly John Cena's door and he kicked you right out of it. Okay. So, so you caught, so you caught that part. Yes. Um, oh man, that, cause the Bellows had part of a promo too. It was it was weird, cause like the Bellas were kind of speaking truth, but ignorant truth, if that makes sense. Because they were saying that they were the impetus for the women's division and all that stuff, and they were there at the at the forefront. And I'm like, that's all correct, but I don't think you know what that means. Like they weren't. The, like it, it was very weird. Like at the end of the day, I don't think the crowd ended up cheering either Ronda or the Bellas. <laughs> it was a collective, huh? Like like the crowd said ooh when when Ronda said John Cena, but other than that, it was very weird mm-hmm. because it feels like literally anyone else on the roster should have been delivering what Ronda was saying. Mm-hmm. Because, like, the arguments that the Bellas have longevity and all that stuff only works when they're talking to Ronda Rousey. Right. It only works when they're talking to Ronda. If that was anyone else in that ring, it would not have worked. Like, if that was Bailey, Sasha, hell, Dana, Alicia, Natty. Alexa, Mickey, it would not have worked for any of those people. It, the only people they could cut that promo against was Ronda. Mm-hmm. And it was deeply unsettling. Because I, like, I'm kind of just hoping that Baron Corbin still has bronze money in the bank that they never turned into hell in a cell and, like, Sasha steals it from his office or something. Like, just anything because i don't want that match at all mm-hmm. at evolution yeah yeah uh unfortunately it's, it's not for us mike it's definitely not for us i don't know who I it's know. for though because based on the crowd reaction it didn't sound like anyone wanted it, 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 it well like, the crowd i mean it, it seems like it's the, the all right this gets the people that watch total bellas and the ufc fans no one is. It's a. That, pe- it's a peculiar. There's no, there's no cross section. There. It's a peculiar cross section audience, I guess. Uh, okay. All right. Um, but I, I, like, as I was listening to this, I did post in the chat room the uh, AJ Lee pipe bomb, which yes, and I went I, back I, and I, watched that on a commercial break, and it's isn't, isn't it isn't it great? Mm-hmm. Still amazing. Still amazing. Yeah, it's still a lot better than what we got tonight. Also, JoJo and uh, Eva Marie were in the ring. Mm-hmm. Oof, yeah, so, uh, chills. We still had Not good chills. We still have four of those other people available that she was talking to. Mm-hmm. 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 Although the uh, the Bellas were just quoting Alex Riley's theme song the whole time. Would say to my, yeah, they just kept saying, say it to my face. Uh, in fact, she was saying it to their faces. Yes, yeah, she was. She yes. was. Um, um, so, so, uh, ladies, uh, anything else, ladies wise? Um, I'm well, we should talk about the other matches booked for, for Evolution. 
The, uh, we don't know what to do with everyone. Battle Royale! Oh, I thought we were talking about the Lita and, and Trish thing. Well, that was booked last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was booked last but if, week. But we, are officially doing, matches. we are officially doing the Battle Royal. Yep. Because we promised over 50 people. And is this still a four-hour pay-per-view? Uh, I have no idea. Hold on, let me let me. See. I have zero idea. Let me take a peek at the at this, and we'll we'll kind of take a look at this. Um, yeah. You yeah, well, I looked at what it was. It's a, did Tamina Snuka pick up Nia Jax tonight? I saw a tweet about yeah. that. Yeah, Tamina. What are we returned. doing? Tamina returned. I mean, it's another Samoan. So, is, you know, like, like they're they're kryptonite to each other. It's like only another Krypton can punch Superman. Superman. Well, see, they said that, but Beth Phoenix lifted Nia Jax. She's secretly like Buffalo Samoan. Yeah, well, that that makes it that makes her relationship with Edge really awkward. Mm. Um, what? What? Beth Phoenix, Edge. They're married. Yeah, with I know kids. that. I, okay. Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, but I don't know. To me, it was very good for her. I'm glad she's able to come back. I think it would have been more meaningful if she came back in the Battle Royal, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like as as a surprise, it feels like um, filler at that point. I mean, I guess it still kind of feels like filler. Well, at this I mean, point. everything apart from the three matches they want to focus on feels like filler. Uh, officially, Revolution. officially, the Evolution pay per view on October twenty eighth does start at seven Eastern. Okay, so so that sounds a like four, a four hour show. Probably a four hour show then. And also, I want to point out, I'm looking at this on my phone, and and I want to point out how. Um, the Crown Jewel logo is hilariously over Roman Reigns' face right now. Uh, as it probably should be. Yeah. yeah. Like, hilariously. Yep, that sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, Tina, Tina says it's going to come down to Ember and Nia. Tina, may I remind you of a little woman called Asuka? Mm-hmm. I, I, She's got to go hope, somewhere in there. I hope it comes down to Ember and Asuka. Mm. That's what I'm hoping for personally as a fan, and that Ember gets the win. Mm-hmm. Because Ember got repeatedly smacked down by Asuka. And now that Asuka's kind of ruined a little bit on SmackDown, Ember can get her win back. Yeah, absolutely. So that's what I'm hoping for personally. Because I, th I think Nasuka and Tim... Uh, Nasuka. Nasuka. And Nasuka! Um, I think Naya and Tamina are going to cancel each other out. Because in a Battle Royal... You never have the biggest competitor win. Nope. It's just a rule unless your name is Andre the Giant or you are in a battle royal commemorating him. Yes. Yes, and you want to close the gap on it. Um, yes. Well, other than that, okay, what, what's happening on the men's side? We want uh, to, one, 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 first of all, I do want to call, I do want to call out there was, I love that there was a return of the conga line tonight. Partially because I was hanging out with Dylan Bostic last night, and he asked the Scarehouse Bunny if he was a rosebud. Um, because Dylan was a rosebud at one point. Uh -huh. uh, so I assume the Scarehouse Bunny was too. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I, I didn't hear the answer, but I know Dylan asked, and well, he was like, "Sword, you don't speak rabbit." Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> oh, you caught me. You caught me there. I broke Sorg. Oh, jeez. Um, but there was one guy that I think you should call. I believe his name was, I, I got to double check, Dame or Dane Smith. Um, you should, no, no, I talked about it on the Mayhem show. Um, he was the one in pigtails. That's actually how he, how he comes out in gimmick. Uh, okay. is, is the pigtails deal. Uh, I got to chat with him at Little Weight Wrestling a couple of weeks ago. Cool guy. Really impressed. He was in like an eight way match, I think. Um, but still really kind of stuck out character wise over there. And like, it was really impressive with that and some of the stuff I saw him training, uh, before the show as well. So, uh, go, just, just want to give the indie shout out there for somebody that I saw on the extra side because they were in Philly. So, um, you know, not, not surprising that we saw a few, uh, local ish faces. I don't know what he, where he wrestles out of necessarily, but, uh, go check him out. Uh, Dame, Dame Smith. Um, cool. yeah. Uh, oh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle was like the, and I think you mentioned something to this, was like the most fun stuff tonight. Yeah, yeah, Kurt was fine. Kurt Angle is like kind of back to the fun Kurt Angle again, which, so we've had, 
Well, which means he's the unscripted Kurt Angle. Yes, they're letting him go. Well, I don't know. I I think this whole like awkward Kurt Angle kind of fits into he's like they've been trying to play the in over his head thing for so long. So maybe that's been part of it. And, well, know, yeah. Now now he's just the doddering dad, Kurt Angle. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so. Um, but you know we're getting there with him, and 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 I'm, I'm liking this. I think we're having fun with it with him and and uh, and uh, Baron Corbin. Yeah. By the way, if if you thought Kurt Angle was having a match unannounced on Raw, I again have a bridge to sell you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. It's I like I think I know what we're building up to. Oh wait, wait, wait! I gotta roll back. I gotta roll back a second. Okay. Because I don't know yeah. what this is in reference to necessarily. Because uh, uh, Grave says, I know he's alive, just seeing if you're paying attention. Who did he reference tonight? I know he... Um, oh, I don't remember. Um, I think it's just uh, a Philadelphia reference. Maybe Gritty? That could be. That could be. <laughs> oh, no, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson. Okay. That's that's what he was... Re- because, all right, all right, we need to talk about Trish and Lita. Um, oh. I, I don't know when Trish and Lita forgot how to cut promos i'm assuming it's in it's in the six years since they've been gone um so sorg uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about a bit of sports ball for a second Are okay you, okay i want to go i'm gonna go check out and play with this uh ninja turtle toy over here hey no sorg no no you, sorg. Uh, you get lost me i'm just leo sorg. what are you up to there you go there you go All that's right. what i got so sorg um did did you see the the trish and lita promo today i did I, I feel right. like I missed the part where they talked, though. Yeah, you may have not have understood it because it was an entirely Philadelphia sports ball reference. Oh, then and that's why I checked out, even though it's yeah. Lita and Lita um, my favorite person. So, ever. So, uh, so, like, maybe eight years ago, mm-hmm. um, a member of the Philadelphia 76ers, Allen Iverson, uh, he said oh, in wait, an interview. Oh, wait, 76ers. That, Is that basketball? Yes, okay, basketball. Okay, thank you. Yes. Um, he was quoted in an inv- interview saying, practice we talking about practice because apparently he missed a practice or two and everyone was like oh is everything okay and he's like we're not talking about practice so someone for whatever reason decided that trish and leah needs to mention that instead of i don't know talking about evolution and women's wrestling and how they revolutionize it i don't know maybe something like that but they said they proceeded to say practice for almost five minutes straight, and no one was really getting the joke. Like, Corey Graves had to spell it out, and even then, a lot of people didn't get the joke. That is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, it should not be hard to push this rivalry. No. It should not be this difficult because Mickey James and Trish Stratus had a long-standing feud. Mm-hmm. Like if anything, Mickey should be driving this feud and not Alexa. I feel like I feel like Alexa is like struggling to remind everybody that these three people had a thing ten years ago. Like Mickey should just come out dressed as Trish again. Oh yes. <laughs> no, she should. And then Alexa should come out dressed as Lita. Mm-hmm. Like. I think that would really drive the point home and it'd be very funny. And like, like, like Alexa could even mock her by having like, instead of a thong sticking out, she has like granny panty bloomers sticking out of her pants. Like this is not a difficult story to build, Mm -hmm. but they're relying on eight year old Allen Iverson jokes. Like I, I don't know. And I, I realize we probably can't have, like, Trish and Lita have a match on Raw, like maybe a singles match to push a tag team thing. But maybe they can be in a corner. Maybe someone can be a referee. We could do something, you yeah. know? Yeah. I, I, feel like we, I feel like we don't ut- utilize special referee matches anymore. <laughs> yes, you know, the days where, where uh, Shawn Michaels will come out in a referee shirt and, like, hot pants. Yeah, exactly. That's what you miss. That's exactly what you miss. The pilot episode of SmackDown. Yes, exactly. The pilot episode of SmackDown was exactly that. 
It was Shawn Michaels in a banana hammock super kicking the rock. <laughs> All right, moving on. Hey, yeah, um, you know, you know what I did get out of the shield tonight. What? And I, I said I want this be wanted this before. I really want to see Drew and 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 Braun Sean and Braun. Yeah, okay, I can see I'm that. I'm really happy that this is probably a thing that's going to happen. I, I'm okay with it, but, like, at the same time, I don't know what these guys are promoting that they're in the main event. Uh, That they're in with it? Like, what? so... so. No, but it, se- it seems like we're already pushing toward something that hasn't been announced at Survivor Series. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? It seems like we're going to have... Team Kurt versus Team Baron. Or we're just imploding them in general so they can go off and do whatever else. But, like, unless Braun's going to go for the tag team titles by himself again. I no, not by himself. Well, he'll get a different child? Yes, well, if he gets it on the holiday vacation, he can get a little he should. Back. He should just think Leo Rush is a child. Yes. Oh, God, I was trying to avoid it. No, not Leo Rush. <laughs> oh. oh, Sorg. Oh, you know how to kill any excitement? Bobby give Lashley. Leo, give, Bobby the, Lashley. Uh, give the best talker right now on television a microphone for an entire five minutes. Oh, oh, oh. Hold. Hold on. What? Did you call Leo Rush the best talker on television? He's a good talker. He's not even the best talker in that hour. Okay. He still I, I I'm over I'm overemphasizing for this, but he Leo Rush is really good at what he does. Until yeah. he does that. Sorg, he's he's doing he's doing his job though. Yes. He's being Bill Alfonso. Yes, but the difference is Bill Alfonso didn't need a microphone. No, he had a whistle. It was the same thing. Big, uh, Leo Rush should have no microphone. He's going to be loud and annoying enough. He doesn't need – maybe you give him a megaphone. Sure. Have him have him Jimmy, Mar- Jimmy Hart this shit. But do not but put him on the, the house difference? mic. He does not need – He Leo Rush should be so loud and annoying that he's projecting, and we're going to hear him no matter what anyways. You got a camera on him. You got a mic on him. He does not need to be – because you're not it, – It's it's – the live crowd is just – dying at this and going and get nachos because they're so fucking annoyed at this thing. Sorg, to be fair, they do that anyway for Lashley. Yeah. Yeah. They do They do that anyway for Lashley. Yes. And poor Tyler Breeze. Yes. Can we, ju- can we just send Tyler to a five? Can, can Tyler can just we? come back? Like Tyler, Tyler had a match at NXT here in Pittsburgh and it was the loudest response of the night. I I have no doubts. And I have no uh, doubts at all. Yes, I like I, I think you know lost the match to some up and comer in in NXT. I can't remember. Of course, probably like Kona Reeves. <laughs> no, not Kona. Oh, Reeves. I'm guessing. I'm not guessing. Not Kona Reeves. Not Kona Reeves. No, no, no. no. Dijak. Uh, no, Dij- Dijak had an amazing match against Champa. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Amazing. Ooh, that sounds. That Dude, sounds fun. Like everybody, like was like, "Who the fuck is this Dijakovic guy?" Afterwards, they're like, "We love this Jakovic guy." <laughs> <laughs> like it, the entire room. Like the why? Uh, it's the most amazing thing about wrestling and live wrestling is when you watch a guy a, at an indie show or NXT really captures this right now. When you when everybody's like, "Who the like chanting? Who are you?" At the end, it's like this guy rocks. You know, like yeah, watching I, I the remember. drunk beside me do the turn. Is so great. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I have not seen a Dijak match in person where he did not turn the crowd in his favor. I, I remember is, having that own experience when I went to an NXT house show up here in Poughkeepsie, mm-hmm. and th- there was um, it was Oni Lorkin and a guy whose name I did not know. Like I knew who Oni Lorkin was because he had had one appearance on NXT. Yeah, but Oni Lorkin and this other guy tore the house down. So get, take a guess of who that guy is. Was it no. a couple of years ago? Aldis, Al- Almas? Yes, it was. Oh shit! Oh, oh yeah. shit! <laughs> Oni Lorkin and Andrade C and Almas tore the fucking house Did down. Did he still have the hat and suspenders? Uh, no, he he didn't even have that. Oh, that he was pre-hat and suspenders. It, it was, he didn't even have the name Andrade C and Almas. 
Oh, like what did they give him? I forget. I have because the, because he he had that the the mask gimmick. And, yeah, and he came here for this. Well, it wasn't so. it wasn't like Lasamba or anything. It okay. wasn't that. Yeah, no, no, like, no, no. I I forget what they called him beforehand. Mister Almas. I don't know. Hold on, uh, vamp for a second. I'll find out what it was. Bum bum bum, doing a dance. I know we're going long tonight, but I'm just having so much fun with this. I, I'm not hating my life for watching Raw and and hearing Mike not love it. But, but well, but I, I I built a Lego set tonight. And that <laughs> oh, see, see, you need supplemental content to Monday Night Raw. Right? Yeah, sort of. Look, I built a little kryptonite holding cell for Superman. Exactly. I it was, talked to it was pro wrestlers, Manny and, other business, it was Manny Andrade, by the way, other business individuals. I edited much uh, more interesting wrestling than what was happening with people that are. Um, no, I don't want to say it that way. I was going to say it with people that are not as talented as the people in the ring on television, but that is not an accurate statement. <laughs> but, but, but sword, uh, look, I built Lobo. You built Lobo? It's just turned into a Lego show-off show. This is what yeah. where we're at, where we're at now. It's okay. Uh, Fine. Legos are great. Damn it. There's, there was something else I wanted to bring up. Oh, well, we have to talk, because I don't think you saw it then, if you just came in at the pipe bomblet. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm calling it, by the way. Um, like, did you see the Brothers of Destruction boiler room promo? Um, I partially, I was, le I legit had like an earphone in my ear on my iPad while talking with somebody. Uh, okay, spoiler alert: they want DX to rest in peace. What well, is this a casket match? No. Oh. No. No, they just they're. No, it's promo. like. It's like, you had three words for us. We have three words for you. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. It's clever. And Some it wasn't Knox folks. County, Tennessee, which I thought. Oh, it wasn't <laughs> vote for Glenn Jacobs. <laughs> it wasn't It wasn't Glenn Jacobs 2020. Vote for Glenn Jacobs. Glenn Jacobs 2020. It wasn't that. Glenn Jacobs 2020. Uh, oh, man. No but, new um, taxes. By the way, I did watch the Undertaker uh, interview that's been going around. Uh -huh. It is fabulous. It is fantastic. I have, what it is fantastic, and the other dude is a big fan. <laughs> what Undertaker interview? Um, I've not, I have not heard of this. This is, oh, geez, I'm going to have to find it for you. Um, okay. It's on the YouTubes. Just look for Undertaker interview, and it's just, this dude, it's just Taker being a dude. Uh. <laughs> oh, because one of my legit favorite things is seeing Taker out of gimmick talking about his career. Well, yeah. Because and, 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 it's so... So oh seldom yes! Seen. Oh so yes! Um, it is a new. This is from two weeks ago. New rare interview. Um, Undertaker out of character with Ed Young. I huh. will drop this. I will drop this in the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group, which you, if you're listening or watching out there, can join as well. And you should, because our friends like Tina and Brandon and Wheels out there join us in there all the time when we have great conversations and share things, and you can be part of the community with us. We do have a great, great time in there. And uh, it also informs a lot of the things that we talk about on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, which we'll talk about in a moment. But in the meantime, Mad Mike, I think it's time to find out. Okay. What did you... No, wait... <laughs> No, no. Now, what you did you learn? No, it's the wrong night. It's the wrong night. I'm, I'm having so much fun. See, I'm not so. I'm not used to being so happy on this show. So I gave the happy show question. <laughs> <laughs> like it was. Uh, what <laughs> I almost said it again. Uh, how much of Raw was watchable for you tonight? Um, I will say every women's segment. Mm. Every women's segment. Um, and the Kurt Angle killing joke thing backstage. <laughs> Because in your head, Canon, that's where we're at. Sure. And everything else was essentially a repeat. So, <laughs> oh, actually, you know what? I will say uh, not every women's segment. I could do without the Bella and Rhonda stuff. I could do without the Bella and Rhonda stuff. That's, that's, I'd rather watch the 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 actual I w pipe bomb I, I just over want Rhonda like, with anybody else. Um, I'm going to go. Why doesn't she have a mouthpiece? Yeah. Like, right, right, right. right. It, it, it would solve legitimately everything. Um, also, Elias, amazing as always. Uh, I, of course. Sorry, yeah. I have to yeah, go. Actually, you know what? Elias, yeah, Elias um, was taking a very special pride in being able to run down <laughs> Gritty 
as a <laughs> Pittsburgher, uh, you know, you know, like great. when he gets to Cleveland, when he gets to um, when he gets to Philly, he takes extra special pride in uh-huh. running down those teams. He truly does. Oh, he does. As a Nate, and they don't talk about him being from Pittsburgh much anymore. Like, like he, he even talked about the Flyers never winning a cup, which yeah. just made me smile. Oh, jeez. It just like I kind of hope like that uh, Twitter account like fly like Flyers Cup, like I hope they retweet that live segment. Oh jeez, um, did you just see the gritty gritty pizza review that I shared a little bit ago? No, you need to see this. Oh. Like New York guy he goes and like, reviews pizza like by the slice stuff, and and gritty is the guest um, judge. And oh, he says God. he says something like, "You look like the sum of every pe- person in Philadelphia." <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. Oh, um, but anyways, oh shit. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna quantify. Oh yeah, I'm going. I'm going around two hours myself. I, I mean, I didn't hate it. You know, nothing was like grown worthy or anything. But uh, attention wise, uh, I think they had me about two hours. I also was. I I, I ended. It content for rise i I edited a pre-show match for iwc so i mean i got a lot done during this raw like i said supplemental content here's a new question because we both answered it and this is for you guys out there and i think we're gonna we're gonna ask this question as an addition every week so mike please hold me to this what is your supplemental content to watching monday night raw and what what i mean by (laughs) what is the other activity you are conducting while watching monday night raw do you like this mike I, I do, and I want to say out front, no judgment. No, no judgments. No, no judgments. Judgment. Doesn't matter I don't care. what it is, as long as it's legal. Yes. As long as it's legal. As, yes. long, as, it's legal. As, long as it's legal. And no judgment. And in 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 certain cases, please don't please don't send us pictures. Uh, in certain cases. Um, speak for yourself. Um, I'm kidding. That's a joke. Yes. Send send them to Riz plays games at Riz plays games. <laughs> yes. Yes. Send all <laughs> send all questionable content to yes, uh Riz Plays, Riz Plays Games Plays. at WrestlingMayhemShow dot com. Um <laughs> Wheels was watching the indie wrestling dot US Twitch. Oh, good for you, Wheels. Nice plug. Which I have to fix it because like, we were expanding that out to Periscope and everything too. Um I, I don't, it, it didn't seem to save my settings when the power uh blipped earlier today. Um, let's see. Uh, d- 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 uh, Tina was taking the bus home from work, working on her, sk- her caseload. So, oh, excellent! See, very you know pretty, what? Very uh, Bradley out there, do he. I always get pictures of him doing his accounting work with my face in the background. So this is. I I get this. I get this now, right? Mm-hmm. Because I don't expect I'm you. I'm Lobo, the main man, sword. I don't expect you to listen to anything we do and not also be doing something else, right? This is background noise. This is just the other the other voice in the room and in your head. Uh, and we counsel you. We understand. Exactly. We talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry. They were playing charades last night in the party room. A bunch of wrestlers and Viper came up and like it was one of those you hold it on your the, the iPhone on your forehead things. And yeah. Viper came and somebody said, Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get it. Sorg, Sorg, no joke. We were playing heads up at work. Is that what that is? Heads up? And, and one of the things was hug. <laughs> so we're like, Bailey loves to do it. You're doing it at work? Uh, the, the internet was down, so no one could really work. <laughs> yeah. And again, we'll just say that you're around wrestling type people. Uh, yeah, so, people, yes. people of like minded interests. Yes, exactly. Oh, fantastic. Mike, it is a blast starting off my Monday nights with you here on yeah. the Raw wrap up. What is this show? <laughs> it's the Raw wrap up. It is. It's just as long as it was last week. We don't even have Main Street Matt to try to correct you. Well, I, I was trying to be positive. This That's week, good. I'm I like the main it. man sword. I like it. Tell us, do you like do you like Mellow Mike uh, this week, or do you want Mad uh, Mad if Mike? If you to want come more back? Mellow Mike, please send in money to the Patreon so I can buy more Legos. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I like that. I like yes. that. Please contribute to that. And if you do like what's going on here, contribute to the Patreon dot com slash Wrestling Man Show. Help keep the lights on here in the studio. And uh, thank you so much. We will be on with, um, I, I heard rumblings of a guest that's going to be joining us Tuesday night on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Um, 
so I, I don't have all the details yet, but um, the, uh, we'll see who pops up over there. Uh, so please join us 9 p.m. Eastern Time on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page on Facebook Live. And, of course, please subscribe to the Wrestling Mayhem Show and WrestleMania, Wrestle, <laughs> WrestleMania feed, Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed, so that you don't miss anything going on here uh, in the Wrestling Mayhem Show Nation. Please check out the Indie Mayhem Show from this past week. We had Facade on talking about his world travels in Japan with DD Pro and other Asia countries and everything, and his recent appearances on uh, Impact and Ring of Honor as well. Uh, and uh, this Thursday, we will have the Latin Assassin on at 1 p.m. Eastern Time on uh, IndieWrestling.us Facebook Live, and that will be the Indie Mayhem Show for the week. And we are, will also have Ring of Honor star Shane Taylor will be joining us Sunday. I believe the time is 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Here in the studio, Mike. Excellent. Yes, he was. Sorry, w- sorry, yeah. Try not to get killed. I will try not to get killed. Very large man. I, he is. No, well, well, I, I, I got to run into him a couple times already this year. You know, he's still, he's still on the good. We're still on the good. Okay, okay. all right. Okay. I'm just making sure. Hey, we're on the good until it's his birthday okay. at an Eden Park, and I make them sing to him like I did with PV right. Smooth last night. I'm I'm just making yes. sure. I'm yes. looking out for your well-being, Sorg. I don't know what's going to happen when a seven-year-old, a, a, a seven-foot-tall man is angry at me. <laughs> yeah, Shay Taylor is scary enough. So, um, but uh, no, he's coming back to uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance this week. Uh, first time, first time since going to Ring of Honor that he's been back. To ah. RWA and RWA is where he did the most murdering. Oh, okay then. In the area, so okay, the most murder. The most murder happened in West Newton, PA. <laughs> murder most. Well, foul. His, 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 the song he used just starts with murder, 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 murder. Yeah, lots, and it's and not. Of, it's murder. No, 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 it's not that. Okay. No, no, not that one. That one. That one. Okay. Mad Mike, 483 on the Twitter, at Sorgatron. Thank you so much, and until next time, keep it raw. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron.